discover how the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund is accelerating cures. I am Amir Riazudi, Associate Professor of Ophthalmology at the Wilmer Eye Institute, Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. One of my research interests is to develop an alternative to human donor corneal tissue for corneal endothelial transplant surgery, which is currently the only treatment modality available for corneal endothelial dystrophies. We're all blessed to have two eyes. The outermost tissue of the eye is the cornea, consisting of five layers, with corneal endothelium being the innermost layer. The corneal endothelial serves as a barrier against the unlimited flow of aqueous humor and helps in maintaining corneal transplants. When corneal endothelial function is compromised due to corneal endothelial cell loss, the fluid seeps into the cornea, the cornea swells, resulting in corneal edema and eventually vision loss. Endothelial keratoplasty, which is replacing the diseased tissue with healthy corneal endothelium obtained from a donor, has been effective in restoring vision. However, the surgery is dependent on the availability of donor corneal endothelium, which in many parts of the world is limited or just unavailable. It is worth noting that efforts to develop a synthetic corneal endothelium have not been successful. My laboratory is examining the potential of pluripotent stem cell derived corneal endothelial cells as an alternative to donor corneal endothelium. With the support of Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund, we have been able to successfully demonstrate the efficacy of cryopreserved human embryonic stem cell derived corneal endothelial cells to form a functional corneal endothelium in preclinical animal models, including rabbit and monkeys. Importantly, in these animals, no adverse effects, such as immune rejection or teratomas were observed. Our data provide evidence suggestive of the clinical utility of pluripotent stem cell-derived corneal endothelial cells as an alternative to human donor corneal endothelium. Importantly, this treatment modality once approved for clinical use, will benefit patients worldwide who are currently on a wait list due to shortage of transplantable grade corneal endothelium. We are thankful to Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund for their support, which undoubtedly has been indispensable for the completion of these studies. And we look forward to their continued support as we prepare for the clinical phase of the project accelerating today's stem cell research into tomorrow's cures.